Hello friends, Tony here. Now in this video, let's start and work with the comments. First, we need to display all the comments belong to this uh, event. So here I want to display them and I have prepared this card for that. And then comment. So type something here and comment also if the comment belong to me. So I am logged in because we need to be authenticated uh, comment. So if the comment belong to me, I want to have uh, this button on the comment to delete that com comment. Okay. So let's open the VS code. Today's video is brought to you by Cloudways, a managed cloud hosting platform for PHP based applications. So we have WordPress, Magento, Laravel and PHP. Cloudways takes over all server management and security hassles to let you solely focus on your business. Their custom stack provides performance boost, managed backups that keep your app safe and a staging environment that lets you test code without breaking live sites. Plus, pre-configured Composer and integrated GI make deployments a breeze and you get a choice between five top cloud providers including DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, WSL and GCI. With Cloudways, you not only get flexibility but peace of mind. So if you are an agency or an e-commerce store owner, Cloudways is a great fit for all your managed hosting requirements. Don't forget to use promo code link in description. And here we have the form, which is this one. Right now we don't have comments for the for this event. So first let's store comments and then display them. Okay, for that we need to create uh, controllers and I'm going to open the terminal. PHP, Artisan, Make controller and hit enter. Now the name of the controller for the store is going to be store comment controller. Hit enter is going to be invocable. So select two. Okay. One more for the delete. So I'm going to say delete comment controller and also this one is going to be invocable so select two here and okay now let's open the vs code and let's open the web route and create the routes for that so scroll down we need to be authenticated so i'm going to add inside this group and just right here i'm going to say route the first one is going to be post post uh and it's going to be slash events, okay. Slash, we need the ID. Yes, and not events controller. And also I want to have also the slash comments here. And we need to use the store comment controller class. And it's going to name, let's name it events comment, comments like this. Now let's create also the route to delete the comment. And yeah, here we have route delete events slash ID comments and we need a comment and use the delete comments controller with a name events comments destroy. Let's save and now let's come here. The action is going to be the route events dot comments okay we need to pass here the id because on the events comments we need the id here the events id so let's add dollar sign event id and the method is post we need to add also the csrf token so let's say csrf here. Okay. Then we have the name comment and the button is going to be type submit. And let's save this. Let's open now the controller. Okay. Here we need the request because we need the comment and also we need the ID. So let's say dollar sign ID. And here, first, I'm going to get the event based on that idea. So let's say dollar sign 
event to be equal with event model and make sure import that and I'm going to use the find or fail passing the ID in here and now we have the event let's say event comments create but not request all we need to change here we need to say content to be the request content and the user ID is not going to be a request user ID but I want the authenticated ID like this and now let's just return back let's save and let's see on the browser also here just to see we have the comments we need to display them so what I'm going to do we have this field and this container here so let's open the tiling play and I'm going to copy this and now after this div I'm going to make a for each dollar sign event comments as a comment a dollar sign and paste that in let's save we don't have comments so we need to have a comment to display this and then we are going to add the event the comment details here so let's see on the browser now if i come here yeah why we have store comments controller so let's go to web routes not comments but store comment I think is and we need to import that so let's import this and let's also import this one and let's save okay store comment and delete comment good now let's see on the browser if I refresh yeah we don't have any comments here but if I just say test post content cannot be null and <laughs> uh, yeah here is comment we need to say content okay let's copy and paste it also here and let's say refresh and let's say test here post and now as you can see here is the comment let's say second comment here and I'm going to say here we have but the card is not looking well so let's cut this and add inside of the div with class to be with full and let's paste that in and yeah we have here with full over scale and on small I'm going to remove that because we I don't want that and let's save this come here and yeah now we have something like this okay now if you would like this scale okay if you don't want you can remove and yeah now we don't have that now let's display the user who has made this comment the username and the content and also the delete button only if the authenticated user has comment this one so here we have a total balance which we need to display the name so I'm going to say here dollar sign comment user name if I say something like this and say from here we have test user and test user now let's display the content in here I'll just say dollar sign comment content and that's it we have test and second comment now if I add one more so let's say another comment post and yeah we have another comment here Good. Now, as I said, this is going to be now a form and we need to delete that. 
Well, let's cut this. And I'm going to say a form with the action. Now the action is going to be the route, which is event, events, comments, destroy. And here now we need on the event comments destroy. Here we need the ID of the event and the comment ID. Okay, so let's say here now. Add an array, add an array with dollar sign event ID and dollar sign comment ID. The method is going to be post. And yeah, let's remove the button and paste that button we have. Method is going to be delete then. And yeah, here we have. Good. Now let's go to the delete controller, delete uh, comment controller. So I'm going to say delete comment controller here. We don't need the request. We expect here the ID and the I'm going to inject the model for the comment. So I'm going to say comment dollar sign comment and let's import that from the app models comment and just say dollar sign comment delete and return back. Let's save. Let's see on the browser now what if I refresh. Let's delete this, delete it, delete this, and delete this. Okay. Okay. Now let's create one more and show and hide also another one second and show and hide this if only the, the comment belong to the user who is authenticated. Okay. So for that, let's open the VS code and I'm going to cut the form and say here, if out, I'm going to use the facade here. So out user ID is people people with the dollar sign comment user ID. But not like this, let's say user ID like this. And only that, in that case, I'm going to say the display the form. So let's save and let's see. Right now we have, I'm going to go to the dashboard and let's log out and let's register with the new user. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the home page and go to this one. As you can see, I don't have also the like, save and attending. So we can add a like, save, attending, but we don't see the button. If I say another comment here, post, now we I see the delete button. Okay, and now if I want, I can delete and I can create another one and so on. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. And if you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video and share with your friends. All the best and see you in the next one. Thank you very much.